Our sport compacts by KICD out of the track right now for their heat race. The X of Cade Lear will sit on the pole position on the outside, the 8K of Katie DeVries. Insider on number two, the 7P of Charles Prime. And to the outside, the 16, that is RJ Skada. Logan Kelly, Jade Lang, Jaden Erickson, Levi Volkert, and Cody Gordon and Kane Malberg as we're green off turn number four. Lear and DeVries lead the field through turns one and two. Prime sliding up in front of Erickson. Off turn number two, put him about three deep now down the back stretch in turn three. Side by side for that race lead though between Lear and DeVries through turns three and four. We have a car going up the hill, but lap number one will go to the 8K of Katie DeVries. Katie DeVries, a lot of feature wins here at this racetrack, finds herself out with the race lead of that 8K machine right now. Lear right behind her, followed by Erickson Prime and Logan Kelly into the top five now. As another lap clicked off by the 8K of DeVries. The 1K, Logan Kelly up to that fifth place spot just buying that car a few weeks ago. Former hobby side driver, flagman as well, running in the fifth place spot. Now looking at the inside of Prime for fourth. Best battle out on the racetrack right now. As Katie DeVries still your race leader, Lear trying to stay in with her with that X machine, Jaden Erickson. As Prime now to the outside of the racetrack, here comes Honeycutt, Matt Stubbe, green flag at hand, two laps to go here for your heat race, for your compact divisions. Lear still trying to stay at top. Erickson has almost caught your top two, as it will be. Will 1K Logan Kelly getting around Charles Prime for that fourth place spot. A white flag will come out this time by Katie DeVries, your race leader in the 8K. Dave Beer, Gene Harrison, Logan Kelly, Charles Braun of your top five. Now the match for the final time now into turns three and four. It is going to be Katie DeVries picking up the heat race win in the 8K machine. Cade Lear in that second place spot. Jaden Erickson, Logan Kelly, Charles Prime. That rounds out your top five. I was trying, I was willing them to uh, get the green. Shows you how much actual control I have here at the Speedway. Prime and Erickson will get one lap around the Speedway to think about what they had done the last time, apparently, right? He'll either be given a warning, and I believe uh, next time he jumps, he'll either be put to the back or docked two spots. Maybe since it's hot out, they decided we're going to make him do one more lap, not under power, let him sweat and hope they do better the next time. Normally the, normally the cool down lap is after the feature. Well, looks like we're going green here off turn number four, beating and banging already. Erickson will take that race lead on a turn number one, three wide for second through turns one and two. Well, it ain't quite Pocono, but we were nearly four wide out of turn number two. Cade Lear gonna settle into second as Katie DeVries has some wins on the season at Spencer. And at Algona, she is trying the middle groove. Can't make it happen. Erickson, the leader, going to one. Jane Erickson, the race leader. Lear in that second place spot. DeVries trying to go around the outside as the 43 car coming to call on the top side as well. Jane Lang started uh, at the uh, top of row at number five. He's the only one upstairs now. As Jaden Erickson, still your race leader. Well, the flying flag man, the 7K of Logan Kelly making some hay in the heat here tonight as well. Logan Kelly on a charge on the inside. If you're gonna bring a toter home to the races, pulling a sport compact, you best be fast. And Logan Kelly working the inside of Kenny DeVries as we go to turn number one. 
That 7K of Logan Kelly, formerly owned by Austin Honeycutt out of Sioux City as caution flag comes out. So, what do we got? I don't know if it's a who or maybe if it's a what. Uh, looks like uh, some debris at the top of the back straightaway. Not exactly sure what it was. We'll take the point, Lear to the bottom, DeVries up to the top, behind them, Kane Mulberg to the inside, Logan Kelly to the top side, your top five, coming to green this time by Erickson, paces the field, green comes back out, we're back underway with a compact A feature. Erickson still your race leader, but Katie DeVries to the outside, Three wide now for the race lead for a split second. Erickson battles back to the inside now. Off turn two down the back stretch into turn number three. Katie DeVries, the 8K, no stranger to victory lane here at the Clay County Fair Speedway. Trying to do it once again as Erickson gets back around her. DeVries not going away. So Erickson might have led there at the line. DeVries a little quicker on the outside. On a turn number two, Erickson, Cade Lear, that is your top three. Katie DeVries said, I've had enough with racing with Logan Kelly. I'm gonna try and find the top spot. Slips back to second as we go to four, go to one. Erickson takes the lead back on the inside. DeVries strong on the top spot. Here comes Cade Lear though to the bottom. Three wide for a split second for the race lead. DeVries still working the top side of the racetrack. Here comes Logan Kelly around Kane Mulberg back behind them. As Charles Prime still working there. Two laps to go for the 440 of Erickson. Two laps remaining in this one. Katie DeVries getting shuffled back a little bit. Cade Lear peeking to the inside and Logan Kelly right now had to come to a stop as he is and uh, RJ Escada all got tangled up out of turn number two. Where's the black flag for the flag man? We're about ready to find out. White flag, no, yellow. Will the flag man get black flagged? And he will do so. Logan Kelly sent to the pits. <laughs> Steve and Matt Van Cleek. Uh, all I got was the first name, the vintage bomber flying over as well, was uh, Gary at the controls. If I can track down his last name, I will certainly do so. Green flag high, run away. Green, white, checkered finish here for the compact A feature. Erickson followed by Lear. DeVries, here comes Jade Lang using the top side once again, trying to slingshot his way to the front and the white flag will come out this time by for the 440 of Jaden Erickson. So getting right down to it, Erickson leading Cade Lear in the second spot. Jade Lang has come from a ways back and has marched his way up into the top four and he is gonna gain ground on Katie DeVries down the back str straight away. So third and fourth in question. It looks to be Jaden Erickson double checkers up front. Erickson winning it, Cade Lear in the uh, second position. Jade Lang, how about that? Looks like I get to go do victory lane. Jade Lang up into the top three and Katie DeVries will complete the top four. As we'll send it on down to Victory Lane to hear from tonight's winner, the 440 car, Jaden Erickson. We'll send it on down to Chad Meyer. Thank you very much, Scotty. How about a hand, Jaden Erickson and Victory Lane here at the Clay County Fair Speedway. It ain't, are you old enough to get whiskey down here? Uh, yes, I am. All right, that's the right answer. Yes, you are, as we have uh, some whiskey to present from you from, uh, forgive me, private first class. S&B Distillery. We also have the great uh, hand carved. This gentleman, you took care of it, right? You did it. Yeah. The gentleman right here hand carved that for you as a winner of Salute to Veterans here tonight. How about if you grab that and let's have a word here tonight. Tell us about your run. Uh, the track was pretty slick. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to even go anywhere, but I just kept it on the bottom like I normally do, and I guess I'm here. You're here. Who do you got to thank here tonight? Uh, all my sponsors, the fans for coming out in this heat and watching us, uh, my parents, and that's about it. All right, 
Good job. I need you to get uh, the great folks from Chemda Auto Centers in the photo, the gentleman that uh, helped make the trophy, and we need S&B Distillery in here as well. You can stand in there with the, uh, with the whiskey. It's fine.